Hello everybody and welcome to Expedition Online. I am here with some of our season five alumni, some of our top five finishers, and we are going to do a little draft for season six. Our season six players have watched season five. They've talked about you guys, so we thought it'd be fun for you guys to tell us your thoughts on the new cast. We've got Jack, Robbie, and Randy. Everybody gets three picks, and the draft order is going to be in the order of your placement on season five. So, uh -huh. Mr. Robbie will get the first pick. I love that. Um, thank you. I finally win something from Expedition. <laughs> Because <laughs> um, fun fact, although I was immune at the rendezvous, I was immune yeah. there. I bought that. I did not win that. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so let's get into it. Um, I'm so excited. I watched the draft video, and this cast is Chef's Kiss. Big, big um, props to them for going so hard on their videos. But. If, as the person who gets first pick, I have to go with somebody that I recommended to Expedition. Um, I wouldn't recommend, actually, I would recommend this game to a lot of people, but as the former runner up, I want to recommend somebody that's going to do just as good, if not better. And I truly believe that this person has the capabilities to not only make it to the end, but do something that I couldn't do, and that's win the game. So, although this person was the last pick on King George's team, he's going to be the first pick on King Robbie's <laughs> team, and I'm going with my boy, Ryan Taylor. Um, Ooh, nice first pick. Is one of the smartest players that I've ever seen play the game. Um, I've had the pleasure of not playing with him, but seeing him play in this uh, community that we play in. He's won a few games. He's not new to this, he's true to this, and I truly believe that he's going to bring it to Expedition Online, which is why I recommended him, and I'm so excited to watch Ryan play this game. Yes. Ryan was not on my board. Now, if I knew that, I would have been looking at Ryan a little bit more, because <laughs> I'm going in completely, like... But yeah. Right. Jack, you are up next with the second pick. Hi, guys. Uh, unfortunately, Robbie, I'm going to have to void your pick with my uh, compass play. <laughs> He's not and, uh, your compass is uh, null here. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, Expired. it's null. I, I checked it beforehand. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, I, uh, first of all, Survivor Stockwatch. I am the repper. Uh, and, you know, on the show, we do a little bit of analysis. We give a little bit of our feel on the players, you know, what they're thinking, uh, what's going on with them. Uh, we just did a show today. Come check it out. Um, I like to pick players um, with ideas more uh, than strict gameplay, like notes. You know, like, I have this idea of how I want to play. I have this kind of structure to it, and I'm going to kind of fill in the blanks as I go. And so one person that instantly stood out to me, and I told uh, the Instagram account immediately um, what my pick was, uh, is Aaron. Aaron is the good cop, bad cop that I think works incredibly well for specifically Expedition Online in a way that is necessary to get yourself through the entire game. You know, she's that, uh, so like, children's library or just librarian. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, she's interacting with kids, interacting with older people as well. She's got this really positive energy at the same time. When she plays games, he works, she has experience. Um, she's a villain. And that kind of dichotomy is super important to have. If you're a really nice person in real life, but you're a villain in the games, you have the capacity to do strategy really any way you want. If you play, if you play games like a hero and you live life like a hero, you're a hero. You don't really have the capacity to play like a villain, vice versa for uh, the villains. It's really important to have that specific balance of being this nice, great person in real life and playing that villain side in games. And I think Aaron is going to be someone uh, that hits it on the head. I think people are going to like her. I think she's going to do well. And I, yeah, she, she, she might win. She might win. So. I love that pick. I, she's my winner pick. 
I think oh, I am. Oh, 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 oh. I'm glad I stole it from Red. <laughs> yeah, well, you should be happy because we know every time that I pick a winner pick, they don't do well at all. So I just <laughs> cursed you. <my> <laughs> We'll so that's why I wasn't going to take her. <laughs> um, sure, sure, Randy, sure. <laughs> I like the thoughtfulness behind your answer so far. Randy, you better have a good answer next. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I saw this cast, just agreeing with what Robbie was saying, this is such a good cast. I was watching it on Monday, and I was like, this season might outshine ours. I'm just saying because the cast is so good. Uh, I'm giving them talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll maybe not, but, but they'll get close. It, no, it's a great cast. It's, I was really having trouble deciding who I was going to take first. I will say I'm more impressed with the women this season than the men uh, for whatever reason. Uh, Jack probably knows who my pick's going to be. It's pretty obvious. I'm taking Kara. Yeah, um, I, am, yeah nice. I am taking Kara first. I watched her um, with the Christmas mini that you guys had going on. And absolutely, I immediately reached out to her and said, do you want to come on and join my podcast? Because she just has that personality that everybody gravitates to. It is just, she's very likable. And I think... I think she's easily someone who could go to the final five. And in a game, this fantasy game that we're doing, which is all about placement, I think I'm picking someone who, in my mind, is guaranteed to make the rendezvous at least. And I have faith that she's, I mean, I'm putting it out there. She's going to make final five. I, I have that much confidence in it. All and that right. is, I know what people might be thinking. Yes, we work together. She will not tell me anything. I've tried mm-hmm. asking how she does. She will not tell me a single thing. So I'm just picking this off of support and all that. So yeah, go, go Kara. She's my first pick. All right. And if Kara doesn't do good, she might be off the podcast. <laughs> she might. She might be fine. <laughs> that one. Back to you, Robbie. Second round. So I've had the pleasure of meeting two people in the cast that I forgot about this December when I went to Hearts of Reality. Got to meet a couple of these people. I'm keeping my cards close to my chest <laughs> here. But my next pick is based off of someone that I met at Hearts of Reality this year. I think that this individual is definitely setting bars in the egg- Expedition Online, they are the youngest player to ever play. They are fearless. I got to see Annie, who's my next pick, yes. perform. Um, wow. And I was thinking to myself, when I was 17, I would not get up in front of a crowd of people and sing this song. And it was... Um, Alanis Morissette. Al- yes. And blew it out of the water. Like, went up there, had so much confidence. Um, Annie has so much swagger about herself. Like she just carries herself in a way that is like, it's confident. It is it's just something that I think all 17 year olds should aspire to be. I think she's a great example for any player who is like younger that wants to play Expedition. I think that Annie's mom is challenge coordinator Jess. So she's got to see the game played out over the, the course of all these seasons. Um, I know that Jess told me she's changed all the challenges, so Annie has no clue what to expect, but she's seen it played out, and she's hungry for a win. I definitely think Annie is here to play the game, so Annie is my second pick. Annie slayed karaoke, brought the house down. My girl. All right, Jack. Uh, Robbie, I was actually, Annie was one of the people I was definitely not going to pick. Uh, I said strictly, I'm not going to do it uh, because I think age plays a factor. And knowing me, knowing the fact that I was definitely one of the younger people on our season, I think my personality got in the way sometimes, got a little uh, little heated. And I think being so young, those emotions can certainly come out. But we shall see. I I did get fourth. Robbie's team is going to kill it. I'm certain that he's going to do amazing because the two people he's taken are two people that I wrote down as like, oh, maybe could be early exits in this game. Two people that I were not high on, 
And we all know Randy is usually wrong with his picks, so that's why I'm like, Robbie, I, I, you're probably picking, making the right choice. If you take one, if you take the person, like the third person that I'm like avoiding with your third pick, I'm just walking out. Because there was like three, <laughs> literally three people that I'm like, they could be first out. So I'm interested to see your, who your third pick is. I'll get there. Well, <laughs> my second pick, uh, I'm surprised uh, he hasn't come off the board yet. I really like his energy. I like his um, emotional intelligence. I think that's a big word I've been kind of flo- thrown around in my head the past couple of months in terms of a really strong survivor player. Uh, and I think this person has a great grasp on who they are. And that is Thomas. I nice. really like his uh, life experience. He's very witty, and I think that shows in his video uh, being on strike as a writer. <laughs> um, but I also just think he's a suck life all in kind of person and enjoy life kind of person. And he's just got a great attitude about wanting to play. And I think that's so, so important to have. And so. I think uh, I think Thomas is a good pick, and I think he'll do really, really well. King George would agree with you, Jack. He, he was would. So Big Thomas fan. Thomas. He would. He would. <laughs> George would have to go like, I'm pretty sure that King George, like, really, out of everyone, he'd be happy if he just had Thomas on stage. Because he's like, <laughs> I'm you... picking off <laughs> Like, he just wanted Thomas. <laughs> hey, I, I make good picks. <laughs> oh man, the pressure's on. Uh, we got Randy. Deciding between two, I think I could get both of them if I want both of them. Uh, I'm gonna go Aaliyah for the same reason that I took Kara. Uh, just high energy. I, I might not be playing for the winner, but I am playing for someone that is going to have their foot in all these alliances because everyone just loves them as human beings. Her energy is just so contagious. Like when her video came on, I was like, who is this person? Oh my gosh, she brought it immediately. Honestly, her video was one of the ones that I was watching and I was like, if I was like a casting director for CBS, I would seriously look into bringing her on like Survivor because she just has like that entertainment value. And we all know when I played a lot of the times it might not have been the smart move, but it was an entertaining (laughs) move. It was a perfect person so uh that's kind of what i'm basing my team on my uh, team on so i've got two people who i think are just going to be loved by um by their parties very nice so, they've all been cursed <laughs> they've all been cursed randy one, sorry <laughs> aliyah won a couple games and she is also not new to this she's true to this she's a very great player i wrote in my notes i don't think that I thought her video was good, I'll, I'll say that, leading. But I don't think her video captured how great she is as a as a player. So mm-hmm. the fact that she threw that, I think Aaliyah is a very solid pick. So. Robbie, we've worked so long together, like just in the Expedition Online world, that I could tell by your face immediately. I'm like, Robbie's feeling this pick. He likes it. <laughs> Yeah. So I, yeah, I knew it instantly. I'm trying to get better at reading you because I did so poorly last season at reading you. I'm trying to get better at it. You got, you got a good one there. All right, back to me. So my next pick, I'm going back to the men, so I apologize to the women. This person was another person that I had the pleasure of meeting, and I think I saw the same person in real life that I saw in their video. Um, this person is confident, and I love that, especially given the two captains this season. You have the king and the queen. So being confident and leading with that confidence is, I think, a great trait to have. So I'm going with Eli. Eli nice. has such a great personality. I think that if I were playing with Eli, I would align with Eli and probably cut him at like six or seven. <laughs> but if you don't, I think that Eli is... He just seems like he's very hungry for it. He knows what he's doing. And he told me he was a fan of me. And he really looked to my game when he approached this game. So I was like, you know, a good one when you see one. So I got to show Eli some love. Um, And that is my third and final pick. So we got Ryan, Annie, and Eli on Team Robbie. 
Here you got Jack. I'm glad this person was here. I'm going with Bar. Oh, Very nice. I am going with Bar. I love Bar's video. I think one thing in Bar's video that I really paid attention to was at the very beginning, he goes, I've been waiting for the right time to play this game. When am I going to play this? When is the time for me to strike? And I can tell from that that he's really a fan of Expedition Online. So maybe he might find a couple of these, you know what I mean? Maybe he might, you know, know the lay of the land a little bit. Um, but not only that, his energy and especially his just uh, motivation to get picked by Sandra was just awesome to see. And I think he's if Sandra is there to give him guidance, I think he's going to take it in stride and... We know Sandra does pretty well. All right, we know Sandra wants to ride her twice, and she's about to win the trainers. <laughs> so, all I'm saying is, I think Bar is uh, Bar is a sleeper, and I think people will underestimate how well he can do. So we got Aaron, Thomas, and Bar rounding out Team Jack. Randy. Uh, I'm sticking with my girls. It's definitely going to be a girl. I'm torn between two. Do I go with the pick of someone who, you know, four airs, they reached out and they said, hey, I love the way that you played. Or do I go with the person that I really like and I think could go far and actually surprise a lot of people? Um, go with your heart, I, Randy. You know, we're, we're all here having fun. So Make a good gonna... decision because your other two are cursed. <laughs> <laughs> That's why if you're if you're on my team, you're gonna be cursed. I am so sorry. Uh, I'm gonna go with a shout out, special shout out to uh, Sandra. I think she's someone that could shock a lot of people this season. I really liked her energy, um, and I wish I could have you on my team. But I'm going to go with Courtney, who reached out and mm -hmm. said she liked she loved the way that I played. So Courtney, I am going to back you, girl. Um, she just she she can dance. That I think that's going to come in handy with these challenge, some of these challenges, especially the ones that I struggled on. Uh, she also, much like Kara and much like Aaliyah, has that like very bubbly energy. I think she could have a lot of fun with this, and so I got back my I got to back my girl Courtney. She's gonna go out there and she's gonna win this thing. So we got Randy's ladies, Kara, Aaliyah, and Courtney. The teams are locked. I think these are some good picks you guys made. Are there any other players you want to shout out? Anyone you're worried about? Everybody, everybody. It's a good cast, man. Like this is a this is a bona fide good cast. I think you got a great cast. You've got great captains, and you know, season five is the best season of Expedition Online. We'll see if this can get close. <laughs> I have. I mean, I have to agree. I have to agree, and this is. An incredible cast. I don't know if anyone cares to hear it, but I know, Robbie, you did not take that third person was not someone that I think could be a first out. So the people that I a little worried about were Ryan. Um, the thing with Annie is the age, I agree with Jack. I'm a little concerned about that in this game. 17 is, is, is young. I'm not saying she can't go out and do great, uh, but I was a little nervous about that. And then the other person I'm nervous about, I'll throw out Eli as well. Eli is going to be fun to watch, but I think he could also rub some people the wrong way because he's got that villain energy. So I'm excited for another season of Expedition Online. You guys picked an incredible group of people, and we're in for a show. I, I can just tell you that right now. You certainly you are. Said, I, if I had to make a fourth pick... I think my fourth pick may have gone to, I was looking at my notes here. I think it may have gone to Austin. I'd like to give Austin his flowers here. And I like that Austin has played a mini before. So he has an idea of what to expect from an expedition game. And another person I want to give their video, their flowers to is Joshy T. I don't know if he made that video specifically for expedition. It seemed like a survivor audition tape, but I was like, Damn, if you were giving this much effort to an online game audition video, A, you need to apply for Survivor and give that same energy. Um, and B, just 
I hope that you put that much effort into the game that you put into your video because I was blown away by it. And I also really like Megan. I really like she came in like, I'm a full-time mom. I'm a full-time worker. She's like, I'm a badass mom. I just, I just love that energy. So those are the people that I also mm -hmm. would have considered picking if I had more picks, but I don't, so. No one took, I'm kind of shocked, no one took Joseph. The the Australian who is coming in, he was trying to take George's spot, like trying to get on, yeah, so no one took Joseph. What do we think about Joseph? I just have to ask the group here. Shades of Jack, maybe? <laughs> I really enjoyed his video. Um, I enjoyed his video, but I didn't get a big sense of like, um, personableness, if that's a word, um, from his video. This game is ultimately about relationships. You can play the best game out there, and if you don't have good relationships, the jury's not going to vote for you. And I think that he came off to me as someone who's going to play a good game on paper, one worthy of a win, but again, if you don't have those relationships, you're either not making it to the end, or you're not getting votes if you make the end. And I, I think one key thing really to note with that as well is that this particular game, Expedition Online, really favors people with a little bit more maturity, really favors people that may, may not necessarily be that much older, but people who have experience and know themselves. And I think really, really favors that. And so anybody who's really coming into the season with that and with their personality in check and the ability to let themselves make relationships. They'll do well. Wait a minute, because I feel like both of y'all have come for my girl Annie and I'm not going to stand for that. Not on this good day. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I'm, just, I'm just worried. We've said so many times that this is such a good cast. There's not a single person on this cast that I'm looking at that can't go out there and win it. Like, I think they all have different aspects of their personality that I think could take them to the very end of this game. Just a few people I'm more reserved on than, <laughs> say, some of the others. I'm going to shout Annie out and say that we wouldn't take any 17-year-old for Expedition. Annie's got a little something. She's not a regular 17-year-old. Uh, not a regular. Oh, oh boy. We, we haven't even mentioned this might be, like, the... Um, the podcasts are coming out of me, but we haven't even mentioned the charities that they're playing for. Yes. Which is a whole nother drive. I remember when, I don't know how you guys felt, if you can add on to this, just having the feeling of playing for a charity, something bigger than just our everyday lives, really meant a lot for me. At the time I played for the Born Free Foundation, uh, I absolutely loved the well being of animals and taking care of animals. So that also brought a little drive. For anyone who has played, expedition online you're you need to apply it is so much fun but in the back of my mind there was always a you are playing for an organization who does some really great things go out there try your best i know that both the captain sandra and george are playing for give kids the world we i'm sure everyone here at least knows how important and how impactful give kids the world is um so overall we can talk all day about the cast we can make our picks, we can talk about the twists, the advantages, the challenges, all that stuff. But in the end, you guys are doing this for charity and that is the number one thing of importance. That is so cool that you guys do that. So yeah, if you're watching, like I said, this is the advertised, like this is the podcasts are coming out, but definitely go add to the charity pot and everything. Cause it's, it's a lot of fun. And, and these are some great causes that everyone, they have their charities, great causes we're playing. Thanks for shouting that out, Randy. Yeah, we have done a lot of work for charity, and this cast is, in particular, super passionate about what they're playing for, and some of them have, like, very near and dear causes, so awesome. All right, last question I have for you guys. What do you got, Team Sandra or Team George? I take this with a grain of salt. Um, in real life, I am Team Sandra. And Expedition Online, given the team breakdown, I'm Team George. I think Sandra picked her picks with her heart, people that she really liked and people that she wanted to see do well. But I think the winner is on King George's team.
personally. And who's the winner again, Robbie? Who's your winner pick? Ryan is on there. Annie's on Sandra. So it has to be Eli or Ryan. Sorry, sorry, Annie. <laughs> <laughs> I will have to uh, submit a rebuttal. And I would like to say that it comes down to experience. Sandra has played Survivor six times. She has won twice. George has played twice. And he's lost twice. Speaks for itself. There's a winner and there's a loser. And Sandra has won. And so I think she's going. Only one of them got a giant statue on Survivor. That, that is very true. That is very true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jack, I have to know who's your winner pick. Mine? Yeah. It was Erin. I, I said that. Even though she's on King George's team? Oh. That's okay. <laughs> I'm saying Aaron's winning this game. That's my winner pick, and she's on Team George, so I'm going Team George this season. Oh. All right. Hello. <laughs> I guess we will see if the queen reigns supreme or if King George gets his first win. Expedition Online Season 6 Episode 1 kicks off tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern. So be there. Thank you guys for all being here, and maybe we'll see you later on in the season.